Hello there. So, sending a, a real quick video um, in regards to the fundraising component of the um, project that we're trying to do to get five cars to homeless women. A um, few things. So, um, I've been doing a whole lot of work for a long time um, in the homeless community. I have a lot of relationships with people that are out on the streets right now, so on and so forth. Um, my ultimate goal, my belief, right, is is housing first approaches. Um, it's proven time and time again uh, in multiple states now that you can virtually eliminate chronic homelessness. If you have a housing first approach, it saves money uh, for taxes, it's safer, so on and so forth. Um, it's known to be able to make that an actual policy here is an insanely difficult task, especially with uh, our demographics here, and they call it NIMBY, which is not in my backyard, so on and so forth. I'm not going to get all into all that. I try to keep it super simple with, uh, hey, these are homeless women. It's freezing outside. Uh, we have the capacity and ability to get these women in cars, not only so they can be they can transport around town, so on and so forth. Obviously, that opens up opportunities, but it's safe and, and it's warmer. You can turn on the car, the heater, so on and so forth. Um, a, a massive part of the fundraising obviously is going to go towards, uh, we have some people that are donating cars and then we're looking at a few different used vehicles right now as well. So it's going to take care of that. But then also the licensing, the registration, a uh, smog test. I have a, a mechanic that said that he will take care of uh, labor costs. So it would just be parts. So it really depends on the vehicles. I have to kind of get them, test them, run on him, see where we're at. And then again, the costs cover all of that to get these ladies, make sure that, hey, if they don't have a license, that they get their license renewed, so on and so forth. So I'm going to take care of all that stuff. Um, but the thing that powers all of it, right, is, is the money to be able to take care of that. So again, I'm going to try to get as many cars donated as possible. And for those that we can't get donated, I'm, I'm looking at a whole bunch of different used vehicles. I have a friend that's saying, hey, I'm trying to sell for 3000 but I can give it to you for 1500 so on and so forth. So I'm kind of navigating all that, putting that all into place. Um, but really, as, as a fundraiser, all, all we need, and I'm going to put together some like pre-made posts and templates and stuff, is it's super simple. Um, I'm sure you've seen the Facebook fundraisers where you donate online. Um, I can, again, create a template or even tell you, hey, this is you know what we should put in there. This is our goals. I can send you over something that you can essentially copy and paste into the fundraiser once you create it. Um, but yeah, I just... I, you know, it, it takes literally two minutes. I'll help you do it all. It's a link that I'll send. It does it through my nonprofit. 100% of all that goes towards the programs. People get their tax write off, so on and so forth. Basically, you go on, create it, boom, two minutes, and then it pulls up a prompt to invite your friends so they can see uh, the fundraiser. They can donate if they want to, and then they'll get reminders. Facebook does really good at it, um, reminding people, hey, you know, uh, so and so is halfway to their goal. Do you want to chip in? So on and so forth. So it's it's pretty cool, almost automated system that Facebook has, um, and it's been super effective uh, for a lot of the stuff that we fundraise for. So um, I'm trying to get as many people on our fundraising team as possible to essentially crowdfund um, all the different associated costs um, to get these five cars to the women. So side note, right? The the bigger goal of this is I have some friends that run a safe parking program in Monterey. Um, if they have a waiting list right now, but I've talked to them and hopefully once we get these ladies in cars registered, so on and so forth, we can get them into that program, which is essentially a designated parking spots, but they hook you up with caseworkers. They put you on a plan um, to essentially transition you into housing, right? Which is the ultimate goal. So that's, that's also a component of it. So yes, let's, let's get the, the cars to these women ASAP, right? For safety, for warmth at night, so on and so forth, a little bit more transportation around town. We're going to try to give them some gas cards, hopefully take care of their insurance, so on and so forth. Um, but then let's get them into a program, right? If Obviously, if they're willing, and I've had those conversations with these ladies already, and they are, um, to get them into a program that will ultimately lead to housing, right? Because that's, that's really the end goal. So um, whenever you have a chance, um, take a look. Uh, just shoot me a question. If you have any questions, excuse me, what I'm trying to say, holy moly, uh, at 831-905-0482, or you can message me here on Facebook. Um, and I'm hoping to get all the fundraisers going here in the next three, four days or so. So I'll message you that information with the link and all that ASAP. I have nothing but love for you. I hope that you and yours are doing well, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.